I'm SirTapTap, and welcome to Let's Play D4, a review of copies of games provided by Playism, the publisher on PC. This game is also on Xbox One, published by Microsoft Studios. This is, if you haven't heard of it, this is one of Swery 65's games, um, also known you know, by his name, Hidetaka Shihiro, I believe. How do you say that? The game only has one save file, so I have to replay instead of doing a new game, but I hope this works out right. I didn't actually get very far, I just wanted to test out the controls and stuff. So this game, very cutscene heavy, I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna play it exactly, and I just decided, you know what, cutscenes are super important, so I can't really do anything about that, I can't really talk over them. So I'm just gonna let him play. This is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. Swear he's never made anything that's not strange. And dramatic. Strange and dramatic. Those would be the two things that I would definitely say. Everything he's touched is pretty much turned out to be. So this game's... I mean, I don't want this to sound insulting, but it's basically all QTEs, like uh, quick time events. Um, but it's very... I mean... You play it for the story and the weird people and stuff, not, you know... So the fact that it's QTEs shouldn't really... Oops. Dissuade you. I had a little birdie there. There's lots of little things you can do, like, that That hold Y prompt was like an inspection prompt, and I was supposed to hold instead of tapping it. You get little bonus points and bonus info, like, here we go. That's daddy. Um, usually has a little bit of info to see here. So the prologue basically doubles as this sort of tutorial, as you might expect. I'm not sure why the sign is transparent. The sign is clearly transparent. Uh, I guess let's show you this tutorial. So the way this works, pretty weird, honestly. But there are, like, there aren't many. Isn't it? Why can't I look around? Um, failure basically has no particular consequences. So um, ah, there we go. You can play this game with a mouse or with a controller. Um, it's originally designed for Kinect, actually, but uh, it works perfectly fine this way. You can push and pull with the left trigger, or with the left and right triggers. You move your hand around with the left stick. You can look around with the right stick, but I guess it's not enabled quite yet in the tutorial thing. All oh, right. You can pan with the buttons. Uh, a little annoying to press the left trigger and R2. Turn around. Now we can use the right stick. It's all confusing now that I actually know the controls. If you hover over things, you can usually get some little I extra info here. And then you get some credits. Pretty much everything you do gives you credits. And credits so you can unlock outfits, buy food to restore your stamina. Uh, there is, like, stamina where you, like, if you just derp around all day, you will eventually fail out of the current section and just have to restart it. Like I said, you move with the right stick, and we can sort of turn left and right. Nothing too exciting here. So let's just go up and say hi to that bird. Why is it? investigate. You can investigate like all sorts of things. So this is obviously incredibly dangerous and our daddy does not seem to care very much but you know we're just gonna let that slide for now. Can I get that? No I gotta. These little credits medals are all over the place you can just pick them up and get yourself some credits. Alright if you can hit something repeatedly you usually get a little bit extra bits of credits. 
Credits aren't really super important. They're just... You just get them constantly through what you do. Uh, I don't want to push the owl. Let's get this credit thing. Sorry, owl. Actually, I'm going to grab you. It's a big owl. Grabbing and pulling is how you interact with people because you're, um... Um... You're just very rude, I guess. So let's push it! Sorry, owl. Yo, owls are carnivores. I don't think it's like a great idea to go push it in the face. Especially when it's as big as you. Jeez. Like, that beak is made for eating flesh. I wouldn't... I wouldn't put my finger near that. I don't think owls, like, attack people, but... Because we're big. Big and scary. Yeah, you just passed how many thin ice warning signs? Jeez, oh. daddy. And it's just dead deer. I didn't even notice that. Hi, dead deer. How you doing? Did you tuck your hair under your scarf? I'm not sure the practicality of that, ma'am. Dark dreams don't die. But this girl does. Probably. See, I've been meaning to play this game since it came out, really. I just wasn't sure what to do with it, and I just figured, you know what, let's just play everything. And I figured, what I've been tr thinking of is maybe I will, like, pick one game and just do a whole let's play of the entire game. And I was thinking, if people want me to do that with this game, that is a giant tub. Um, if people want me to do a whole let's play of this game, let me know in the comments. I'll pick something. I was thinking either this, maybe Undertale. I think Undertale might be kind of overexposed at this point. Yeah, pretty big tub. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'll get into the first mission at least, and we'll poke around a bit there. Not entirely sure how long the missions are. I didn't want to spoil myself too much. Let's wake the city up. Come on. There we go. <gasps> a little bit of static listening to this on my headphones. And it's not my PC, it seems to be the game. Um, I didn't see you again this time either. The port is pretty good performance-wise. I haven't tried the mouse controls, but they should work fine. Little Peggy. Little Peggy. My name is David Young, former knock with the Boston PD, and now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila. My dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Two years ago, someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain, very special power. Alrighty. Now we've got a very special mission that we need to get out of the bathroom. Oh no, it marks everything completed. We have some very important QTEs. And almost everything you do tends to the gift expand is an that. expression of emotion. Stamina the bar. Who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. I hope you can't hear that static too much. But yeah, so. We get mementos, then we dive into our dreams. Let's take a look at the sink here. It's been broken since that day. Oop. Ah, oh, crap, I just wasted a perception thingy. You can hold 
Y, I guess, to um, see everything you can interact with in a room. It's usually fairly obvious. My head is full of memories of my wife. And the bullet that robs me of them. What happened in this place on that day? So the game is a mix of very silly and very serious and dramatic -y stuff. Um, it's very interesting. It works better than it might sound. Little Peggy. <laughs> Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library. The register in the supermarket, or in the middle of an intersection, in bed, on a golf course, a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. <laughs> From the day she died, this has been my place to work. Not exactly the best workplace. I don't think that's about all there is to see in here. I didn't know it kept things marked. I guess that makes sense. It's kind of annoying when I'm trying to show you the new... You know, try to show you, you everything from the beginning. No results this time either. This case is in the clear. I actually don't really mind QTEs for anything where, like, you have lots of little minor actions that couldn't possibly be mapped to, you know, the same buttons or anything. Like, I don't have time for this right now. The interactivity in this game couldn't really be handled by, you know, standard controls. Like, you wouldn't. I mean, you don't have, like, a drink tequila button and all that crap, so. I really don't mind what they do here. So let's see what we got here Eliminated Suspects. It has lots of little minor actions it wants you to take. I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. So obviously that's our whole deal in this game. Just looking for D. At the time, with no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I love his entrance to his living room there. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead-end case. I hate the shape of the left I'll and right trigger icons. I'll do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. Because the left and one swoops do, to the right. Oh, Peggy. Dun dun dun. Amanda? Well. Let's see who's at the door. Bubblegum all over the door or something. Oh. That was not great. You're eating a mouse! Excuse you. The left and right trigger icons always screw me up. Like, I would prefer just labels, actually. Hey, I couldn't do anything there. Go away. This is Amanda. 
She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. Well, that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. Everyone in Sway's games just has weird friends that they don't seem to care much. Like, they don't. This is fine. No worries here. This is just a normal interaction. Everything ship shake? <laughs> yeah. As you can see, Teddy. Someone definitely got the jump on you. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police. This guy's department, great. And my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for D. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. You might have seen some of the food gifts for this game. Are always trouble. Every time this guy eats, it's amazing. They get trouble. We're fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women, men don't stand a chance. Don't come and see me. Actually, means get right over here. But then, leave me alone. Just me. He's got an eyebrow well, scar. Leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. Coffee from a different place can be nice once in a while. Cafe <laughs> swearing 65. Once in a while. All the time is more like it. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. Sudden Boston cutscene. The tune shading in this game is pretty neat, though it could really use better anti-aliasing options. It's basically running on the best stock options, I'm not sure if it plays nice with forced anti-aliasing. I don't usually mess with that. It's definitely not quite perfect. But the game was originally for Xbox One. So it had fixed spec in mind. I think it said it even has touch controls. I couldn't get it to run well on enough to test on my Surface Pro 3. I probably just picked too high of a resolution. Uh, I didn't mess with it too much. I'm fine with the controller controls. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? Apparently starts with the letter D. Dun dun dun. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid flight. Does that sound possible to you? No. 
It's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. Not entirely sure what the synchro ray thing's it. about. A third party most likely used the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of people want the evidence he was carrying. What are you doing, Parker? From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Well? No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. So we've got our first case. So every time we get a memento, we can go back in time, sort of. Like, not actually back in time, but we revisit. Oh, crap. I always get confused when I end up in the menu. I just want to. Ah. Go back. So. Woof. Took Lord and I thought to get out of the uh, prologue. I guess I'll have a second episode where we tackle our first case and then. Hey. That's not all I wanted. Get back in there. No. Is that all there is? Pizza? I, I don't think you can store pizza just. On the shelf? I don't. I wouldn't recommend that. Oh well. So yeah, in your you can poke around here. What's how long has that been in there? I would not recommend eating that. So let's eat it anyway. Oh dang, that was a very good stamina restore. So yeah, you have stamina. If you run out of stamina mid like mission thing, you wake up again, you have to dive back in. See, as you poke around in your office, you can find, like, you find some magazines here. I've already grabbed them before, but... Spontaneous human combustion. A totally real thing. See, I assume these tell some sort of story as you continue along the game, but, uh... I haven't found more than we've got here. Ugh, I always get trapped once the menu pops up. Yeah, there's lots of little things to see around your apartment. Um, I already inspected before, so I won't bore you too much. Oh, is that an outfit? Let's go grab that outfit. There's lots of unlockable things like this little... Come on. I can see you outfit. Okay, we grabbed it. And Amanda functions as the store. Let's talk to you. Hello. So you can upgrade your, or you can purchase stuff to get more stamina, or more outfits and stuff. What all you got for me here? Good luck. Ah, no. What's this good luck charm? There we go. I don't recover my exhaust. Ah. We can also add some vision, which that's the little thing that we had that um, highlights all the interactable stuff. We don't really need that right now. What we do need is to eat. Are you eating okay? Uh, what? So why this courier turn witness anyway? I don't know the details, but apparently he's in fear for his life. Turned himself into the DEA. And they trust him? Uh, I don't know about that either. But this is information about the mastermind behind real blood. I mean, they're probably saying, can't hurt to hear him out. I feel exactly the same way. What's up? Oh, here we go. We wanted to Feeling eat. Feeling hungry? Yes. The eating scenes are great. Okay, good. Let's eat then. I know you too well. You probably have only been drinking alcohol. <laughs> Your badge says detective for a reason, Teddy. 
Go get Amanda. The more the merrier at the dinner table. Each meal is also a case, like not a case we care about, but. Tell me, Teddy, what's up with you and Diana? Hmm. Nothing much. It's just how we roll. New York versus Boston again? That's the root of it. But both of you are originally from New York. I don't even know what they're I eating. thought you'd be double teaming me. I've been living in Boston for 30 years, man. I'm a Bostonian now, body and soul. Diana doesn't see it that way? Nah. She's still got her head stuck right up in New York. Oh, so what was it this time? Baseball? <laughs> Basketball? Not football. Nope. Something bigger. But what's bigger than sports rivalry? Oh, uh, <laughs> this, this one's <laughs> bigger. Much bigger. It's all about clam chowder. Clam chowder. Yeah, clam chowder. No matter how you slice it, Boston has the best clam chowder in the world. You're, you're with me on this, right? Right? Huh? Uh, but Diana just can't see it. I have no basis for comparison. What? I've never eaten clam chowder anywhere but Boston. So it's the best in the world by default. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, David. Mm. Sorry. Uh. I can't help you out. I can't say anything absolute that isn't based on personal experience. I need you on this. All I needed you to say was damn straight. Uh. Hmm. Well, the first meal I had was like, they discussed a detective case. I figured they were all like that. Apparently they aren't. I mean, it's still labeled a case, but... See, every time you eat, you get some credits, you get a scene like that, and you fully restore your stamina. Uh, so since this took a bit longer than I realized... We will go ahead. I'm stuck in the menu again. I think you can just you can just press start to close it. I keep trying to exit out with B though. Yeah. Next time we will dive into the uh, first case here, and let me know in the comments if I should just play the whole dang game or I'm just I'm gonna do at least one more video to show you know the first case. But uh, I'm not sure if I should just play the whole dang game. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards right now. Um, mm -hmm. I wasn't sure this would be as interesting, because there's obviously lots of dialogue and talking and stuff, but uh, I still thought it would be a really cool game to show off. And this is what I was... Um, let's find a good example. The toon shader looks pretty good, but at least in the cutscenes, there's a lot of pixel crawling. Like, look on these plants here. Like, the anti-aliasing is... I'm actually not sure if it has anti-aliasing right uh, maybe FXA. Whatever it is, it's not very strong. Um, a yeah, really good anti-aliasing could make it look a lot better with those tiny little lines. It's a big problem Any, pretty much anything with the Toon Shader has. Lots of Vita games have that too, where, you know, if it has a Toon Shader or, like, rim lighting or something at that lower resolution, you kind of really need anti-aliasing. Anyway, that's not really relevant. This has been D4. Uh, we're going to do at least one more video of it, so tune in for that one. And uh, hopefully we can find D.